Come along, Precious. Come with me. We have to hurry. Kyle, there's nothing to be afraid of now. We're almost there, sweetheart. Almost there. Thank you very much. Thanks very much. Bye-bye. thing off the shelf. Sweetheart, if you go shopping for your child's present a little sooner, you won't have to be late to his party. I had something from a week ago. Honey, that was junk. So you for me. Okay, let's get to the good part. Hey! 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 What are you going to do? <laughs> See, it's a robot like Power Rangers, only you get to make it yourself. Oh, gee. Well, look, sweetheart. You are gonna love this. <laughs> you never can tell with this kind of stuff. You know. By tomorrow, I'll be playing with the box anyway. Hey, hey. a couple of those? Yeah. So I, uh, yeah. <laughs> Heard you working at your mom's restaurant, huh? Mm. That must be fun. <laughs> uh, not really. Got it? So are you, um, are you seeing anybody? <laughs> Sounds rude. <laughs> it's our son's yeah. birthday. I, I know, I know. I mean, I didn't come over here to get in your face. I just wanted to, I just want to say I feel pretty lucky to be here. Now that we're divorced and all, you know. Well, it was nice of Petey to invite you. <laughs> Everybody, come on. Come on now, Kyle. Come on, Chris. Oh, no, I don't think so. I'll take a picture of you. No, I don't want to. Come no, here, Chris, you take it. Come on. Here, you get in here and I'll take it. Yeah, we can all be in there. Get in there, guys. Yeah, we can all be in there. Okay. Get down here close to the birthday boy. All right. Smile, Kyle. What, you forgot how to talk? You can't bring yourself to ask for it, but you're not too embarrassed to carry it around with you all day. My dino, please. Okay. There you go. So tell me, do you like the present that Mommy got you? You know, because if you don't like it, I can get you something else. Something else? Well, if you want. A piano? <laughs> You already got a piano. You want another one? All right. You're a silly guy. You know that? <clears throat> Here. So at the last Fashion Expo, we got to meet Cheryl Teeves because, you know, I was on the financial committee and plenty talks. So do you know what Cheryl Teeves had to say about this one? Told this one she has dramatic cheekbones. Wow. Come on, Josie. Let's see that. Come on. Oh, can you believe it? And do you know what she said back to Cheryl? Oh, yeah, thanks. Can you believe that? Cheryl Teams, tell you. Oh, I'm telling you, it sounded like she was complimenting her sweater or something for all that. 
Oh, well, you out for a hot night at the trailer park? Yeah, Billy Bob and I are going cow tipping. Oh, no, wait, Billy Bob is going to be with his sister tonight. So I think Daryl Lee and I are going to go out and, you know, toss back some beers and tattoos all around. Should be fun. Knock yourself out. I will. <clears throat> Sarah, you know Mom hates it when you take off the disreputables like that. No snob she sucks up to. Please. I'm coming to you. Feel that? That rumble underneath the ground? I used to think that was dinosaurs coming from the center of the earth. And I'd stay up all night waiting for them to chomp their way through the floor. And you know, not as much from hunger as from spite. Hey, is, is your mom on your case again? Yeah? Why don't you get the hell out of that house and come up to Chester? Your daddy's up there, right? Jimmy, you mean? Yeah, he's up there. Or maybe you're just afraid to be that close to me. Me? Afraid of you? I don't even know if I like you. Josie! Don't be a copycat. You don't have the pad nut smoking, Sarah. So what would your track coach say? You dare make fun of me about that. You know that was my idea. I'm not making fun of you. Uh, I'm glad that mom didn't get any of her ideas about you. Yeah. Any idea what time it is? You were going to help me clean the kitchen. Oh, well, that's just fine. I guess you just have no sense of responsibility at all, do you? Don't look at her. She's a 17-year-old girl. You are a 22-year-old woman. Yeah, that's the story. <laughs> it's a sad story, too. You live under my roof for free. You don't pay a cent for anything. You've got a babysitter at your beck and call. And it's a lucky thing, too, because when you decide to go out and party, little girl, nothing's stopping you. Lucky for that little boy that I'm raising him because you have not got a bit of responsibility. You know, Mom, when you're right, you're right. Kyle is my son. It's about time I took responsibility for him and myself. Come on, Kyle. Baby, come on. We're going to go for a drive. Oh, I love that. Come with me. Come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't want you. Okay. Oh, oh come on. God, what do you think you are doing to Dad? Oh, well, Dad's new wife is going to love that. Jesse, can you please bring some stuff over to Chester tomorrow? I just want to get out of here. My God, at least put a coat on him. It's freezing. It is not freezing. I don't know how you stayed married to her for so many years. What you gotta learn is Dee Dee is just Dee Dee. She'll never be anything else. He's asleep. Oh, thanks. I feel bad about putting you guys out. You know it's not easy having a five-year-old around. That's nonsense. You're welcome here anytime, Sarah. You know that? You think three weeks is enough time? Probably. We could help Sarah out with first and last, couldn't we, honey? Well, maybe it'll help move things along. Well, I wasn't thinking that. Well... I need a security deposit. Ooh, a security deposit? Are you trying to shake me down? No, sir. Ooh, sir, I like that. <laughs> well, I hope after I go through all this trouble, you'll sleep in your own bed for a change. I will, Mommy. <laughs> you are such a bad liar. Hello. 
Hi there, my sweetie pie. Are we speaking yet? I didn't know we stopped. It's been a couple of weeks. That's just geography. Oh, 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 oh. let me look around. Well, 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 well. Not bad, not bad at all. So, how does it feel having your own place? Well, I'll know more once we get settled. Oh, I hope I didn't come in at a bad time. No, it's okay. Oh, good. I was thinking of taking Kyle to the park. Can I bring my bike? Sure you can, sure. The park. Sure. Why don't you come with us? You know, I wish you wouldn't wear your hair and your face like that. You've got such a pretty face. Why don't you let people see it? Here you got a new job at a record store. Video store. Oh. I'm going to go back to school, too. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm starting a class, uh, an art class at CGC. Really? I haven't officially gotten in yet, but uh, I have an interview with the instructor. Oh, that's great. You're going to be awful busy, though. You're going to have school and Kyle and everything. I've got it covered. Well, if you ever need any help, if Alyssa can't make it at the last minute or whatever, you know, you'll be the first person I think of, Mom. You know there's no substitute in Kyle's eyes for you. Kids know when they're loved. I hope you know you're loved too, Sarah. Sure. I am the terrible groom, the creature said. And I... Uh-oh. What is it? You don't like this part? It's closed. It's all gone now. Fast forward. I did, just for you. And it's your bedtime now. All right, let's get you under the covers. But there are some people in our town who have been taking evil spirits and witches all too seriously. Last night, there were a number of disturbing incidents. Jerry Bradshaw has this special report. Once again this Halloween, rumors of occult activity in the area. Are they groundless? Well, incidents like this one have the Chester County Sheriff's Department taking the threat very seriously. So seriously, in fact, they've issued a warning. Parents of small children are advised to exercise extreme caution tonight. I just can't believe that something like this could happen in Chester. Do you think some kind of devil worshippers do it? Well, I heard they even found a dead cat uh, draped over the gravestone, but they were keeping that part of the case. No, I heard that too. Sounds like great A fooey to me. Oh, I don't know. I saw a dog on the highway uh, a couple of weeks ago. It, it didn't look right. Right? Like it had been hit by a car. I mean, I've heard about stuff like that. Cults killing pets and leaving them on the road. Well, well she might be right. right, you know. I mean, I hate to be the one to say it, but we always want to think evil happens somewhere else. Yeah, sometimes it could be right under your nose. <laughs> Did I miss something? Tell her, Kelly. Okay. Well, my cousin Billy he works as a dispatcher in the sheriff's department, and he heard the story about this guy, uh, Dan Calder. Does it ring a bell? My daughter, Sarah, went out with Dan. I don't even know his last name. Maybe three C times. CD, I, I really was just... I know what you just wanted to do. Does that mean you don't want to hear it? What the hell do you think you're doing? Don't you dare. What does it look like I'm doing? I'm taking him out of here. Oh, no. Are you out of here? Your life is your business, but when it affects this child, it's mine. This child? I'm mean, insane! You don't think it affects this child for you to live with a drug dealer? Drug dealer? Sarah, don't you know that man in there is one of the biggest drug dealers in the Who county? Who told you that? Oh, please. Come on now. You're going to pretend you didn't know that? Oh, say goodbye, Kyle. Well, come on, on now. Say goodbye. Give him to me. Let go of him. Don't touch him. Just stay away from us. Stay away from us. You're out of our lives. Why are you looking so sad, Mom? Huh? You didn't miss me? 
I think so. Well, you certainly have a dark outlook. Is that bad? No, no, there's definitely a slot for you in my class if you want it. Well, yeah. Okay, well, let's get you set up here. Okay. Great. I'll go down to the office for performance. You're in. Terrific. Hey. Mm, ran all that way and not even out of breath. You know, I couldn't help but take a peek at your work. Uh, it scared the hell out of me. <laughs> oh, I liked it. You know, uh, you really don't belong in that class. I mean, you're a real artist. See, I can recognize that because I'm pretty much resigned to mediocrity myself. I doubt it. Well, thank you. That you're resigned to it. So I guess I'll just see you on Tuesday. Tuesday? Friday? I don't know. Tuesday. Didn't you see the notice? So they changed the art class from Friday to Tuesday. Oh, gee. And Alyssa can't take Kyle on Tuesday. So, here I am. Let's not play games with each other, Mom. I want something and you want something. That's fine. I have no problem with that. Why don't we just continue to use each other the way we always have? Dad's gonna come pick you up, and he's gonna take you to the park, and then he's gonna take you to Grandma's, and I know how you love going to Grandma's. There. I want my zipper zipped. Oh, well, if that's what you're acting so moony over, we need to get you a thing, huh? Oh. Am I interrupting something here? Oh, no, you're just late. Oh, oh late. Yeah. Uh -huh. Right now. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Come on. Okay. You sure you're okay now, right? So if there's anything wrong, you tell me first, right? Right. Right. Okay, give me a kiss. Mr. Skelly Bones has a hot poker. Mr. Skelly Bones? He has a hot poker. He'll stick you with it. <laughs> you don't say, huh? Mr. Skelly Bones says don't talk about it. Hey. Hey, what? What can't you talk about? Kyle, I'm asking you a question. What aren't you supposed to talk about? The things that happen. All I can get out of it is Skelly Bones has a hot poker and he likes to hurt kids. I mean, I don't know what to make of it. Hi, sweetie. Hey, bud. Yeah. Hey, hey, please, Chris. Kyle, what's this your dad was telling me about someone who hurt you? Now, darling, do you need to tell us something? Sure, Tony, don't even do anything wrong. Who hurts when you don't even do anything wrong? Who who is this Mr. Scullybones? The man that lives by the warehouse. Mr. Scullybones lives by the warehouse? In the big church. Let me show you something. Okay? Look, is this Mr. Does this look like Mr. Scully Bones? Okay, it's closed. Did that look like Mr. Scully Bones? With the mask? Sweetheart, how did you get to the bad church? Kyle, who took you there? Mommy. 
So I'm the first person you've come to? Yes, you are. Well, I hope you realize that in pursuing these allegations, you are opening yourself to public ridicule because people don't like to believe that this sort of thing actually happens. Well, I don't care what happens to me. All I care about is Kyle. Right. Well, I am a crackpot, Mrs. Cooper. I make no bones about it, but I'm a crackpot that people listen to. I'm an official advisor to six metropolitan police departments. So I promise you, if Kyle has been ritualistically abused, I'll know it. What are you doing way over here? I'm supposed to be the oddball in this group. What's your excuse? Didn't like high school when I was in high school. So I opted out of high school a little early myself. Uh, I spent what would have been my senior year stationed off the coast of Spain. You were in the Navy? How come? Well, I got to see the world. I mean, I grew up around here, so all that water, that was, that was a novelty for one thing. Well, if you loved it so much, how come you left? Well, I did almost my entire tour without ever crossing the equator. I just figured my luck wouldn't hold out. And what do you have against the equator? Well, <clears throat> when you're a, a virgin, the first time you cross, they make you eat a hard-boiled egg out of the belly button of the fattest guy on board. See, now I figured I'd survive that, but uh, I don't know. I just pictured being like 80 and still having these very unwelcome mental images coming back. So you're a computer programmer with a artistic side. Yeah, you got me, Peg. So what are you? <laughs> what do you like to know? Have you ever seen this before? This sign? How about this one? Yes. You've seen Mr. Skellybones without his mask on, right? Is he somebody that you know? Kyle, you've got to tell us who he is. Mommy's friend. Mommy's friend, Dan. Calm down, calm down now. Come on, we got to pull ourselves together and deal with this. Hello? Sarah? Me. Chris, what the hell is going on? It's 10 o'clock. You were supposed Look, I'm to... not bringing him back. I'm keeping him. I'm not bringing him back. Chris? Hello? Have you talked to Chris today? No. Are you sure you haven't talked to him all day? No, I haven't talked to him since he picked up Kyle last Sunday. What's the matter? I heard this call from him saying that, that he's not going to bring home Kyle. He said, I'm keeping him. Just like that, and then he hung up. He said, I'm keeping him? I'm scared. It did not sound like him. He sounded really weird. Okay, calm down. I'm sure it's... Uh, it's mm -hmm. Mom, it's Mom, I cannot find Kyle or Chris. I have called everybody, and nobody knows anything. Are you sure he didn't call you? I told you he didn't. Because, you know, Chris would never take Kyle anywhere without checking with you first. Well, why do you say that? Because he's terrified of you. And he knows what Kyle means to you. Sarah, I'm sure there's a reasonable explanation. I'm sure there's nothing to be hysterical about. Chris loves Kyle. He'd never do anything. It was you. you. You put him up to this. Where is he? Where is Kyle? 
I had to put him first. He's a five-year-old child. He has to come to the police. This is kidnapping. I called a half an hour ago. My five-year-old son was kidnapped. What, there's a bigger crime in Chester right now? I don't think so. I forget it, we're here. Dad, I know the law's kidnapping! Yes, Miss Landers, why don't we step inside and sort this thing out? So you were at a party earlier this evening? What kind of party? What kind of party? Office party, retirement, no, birthday party. There wasn't any of those. Are you Catholic, Miss Landers? Are you asking me about my religion now? No offense intended. Oh, excuse me, what is going on here? My ex-husband abducted my son Kyle. Well, Miss Landers, we're, we're just trying to get that. the relevant facts. We'll get back to you. You just sit tight. Sit tight? For now. Uh, what did he say to them? Why am I the only one in this county who doesn't get to know? Listen, I've already talked to... What did she say? What? That, that I'm a drug dealer or a whore? Something worse? The worst thing I can imagine. She says that you abused Kyle. I abused him? She says you belong to a cult. She says you've been using Kyle in rituals. Kyle says so, too. He said that? He said I abused him? It sounds ridiculous when you say it flat out like that, but... Dee Dee has him on tape saying it. She played it for me. And you believed it? I need a lawyer, don't I? Excuse me, which way to the public defender's office? That's my son in there. If you don't bring him out, I'm gonna call the police. I am not the one who has to calm down. I am not the one who committed a crime. The mother and three nine nine. Your son's here for counseling. Miss Landers, this is my client. Miss Landers, this is your show. Miss Landers, this doesn't help your case one bit. Please, please, come on. Sarah. Mommy was there? Yes. What was she doing? Mommy was there. She was holding my hands. Mommy hurt you? Yes, it hurt. She was standing there watching. She was watching. Joseph, do you believe it? Do you believe it? Look me in my eyes and tell me. Do you believe what they're saying in there is true? I don't know. I don't know what I think. She's my mother. The court finds that there is sufficient evidence of abuse to warrant further investigation, and that it is in the best interests of Kyle Landers that he be in the legal and physical custody of human services until this matter can be resolved. What? Oh, you can't do this! Can I at least box him before you take him away? Kyle! Kyle! Splinter! Let go of me! What do you want these for anyway? Pediatric records show you were a caring mother. That's all I've got to show that I was a caring mother. I'm in a lot of trouble. So what are my chances? Oh, everything's double-edged. Dan Calder and his buddies will testify that you two hadn't even seen each other for months when a lot of this was supposedly going on. But they're not the best witnesses. Now, there's a chance that this occult stuff is so overheated it might backfire. But they're also coming at us with drugs, promiscuity. You know, if I had had half the fun my mother thinks I've had. Yeah, and the fact is... It's just not a good time to be a single mother in a custody dispute. So I could be Lucifer's love slave and just married, and my odds would be better. Probably true anywhere in the country, but especially in this town, I'm afraid so. 
Thanks for being honest. missed you. I can't tell you how much I've missed you. You missed me? Hmm? Did you get the toys that I sent you? He's been given everything. I'm not have. talking to you. Kyle, did they give you a place to set your toys up? Kyle, I wish you'd talk to me. Because I don't know what all you're believing. Miss Landers, you're not supposed to discuss the case. Kyle, none of it matters, okay? Because I'm your mommy, and I love you no matter what. <laughs> when is the last time they cut your hair? Kyle, do you want to go back to your room? Why are you asking him that? He just got here. Kyle, do you? I said you'll want to go back to my room. Kyle, your room's at home. I can't cut off this visitation unless you... I'm done. Every coven has an organizational structure like a pyramid. At the bottom are minions like Dan Calder and breeders like your daughter Sarah. Above that are acolytes. I've identified three here in town. Above the acolytes are what are known as satanic apostles. I believe I've identified the leader of this particular coven, Richard Austin. Reverend Austin? It's my understanding that Pastor Austin is using his congregation as a front. This is all very interesting and, and, and fascinating stuff, uh, Mr. Harrison. I do believe that we should focus on the facts pertinent to Sarah Landers and the yeah, customer. What I'm saying is this is a lot bigger than that. I think we better focus on Kyle. Hey. Hey, Marley. I'd like you to meet a very good friend of mine, Mr. Lance Normal. American. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jack. You know, Lance over here, you know, he's not just your your ordinary computer salesman. He is much more. Deep down inside, he's got the soul of an artist. Isn't that right? All right, tell her. Tell her. Well, I just, I just sort of came by and say hi. Oh, come on. Aren't you going to buy me a drink? What are you drinking? Mm, beer. So, what are we celebrating here? What? It's the third day of the Vernal Equinox. Sounds like as good a reason as any to get schnockered. No, <laughs> 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 seriously. No, do you know the significance of the Vernal Equinox? Hmm? It's a propitious time. <laughs> <laughs> for celebration of the bounty, the fertility, and revelry just like this, you guys. Well, well here's to it. Then. It's also a very good time for sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Love sacrifice. You are out there, girl. No. You know how I know? Mm -hmm. I'm a witch. Yeah. Mm hmm. No kidding, an honest-to-goodness, real-life witch. I got the mark of the beast on me. Do you want to see? Bet you do. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> you okay? No. 
Could you use a ride? I didn't invite you in, but... Oh, don't move, okay? Oh, go. sleep together if that's what you're worried about. He watched over me all night. You must be really hard up. Well, <clears throat> you seem okay now. Well, wait a minute. What do you have in mind for this morning anyway? Who, me? Oh, I don't know. I was just gonna make you breakfast. Well, you're here. You might as well. So you're going through a tough time, huh? What was your first clue? Your ex-husband's trying to take your son. That's all the legal stuff lying around, and I kind of put two and two together there. I, I wish that I could help. You really are a nice guy, aren't you? Is that an insult? Is that the way you take it? I never wanted anything as much as I want to help you. Imagine that. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, you know, it's stupid for me to be here. Like, you haven't got enough going on in your life right now. No, I don't mind you being here. I just wish you'd be honest about what you want. I don't want to take advantage of you. Don't worry about me. Married? I asked you a question. Do I want to get married? Uh, yeah, sure. How about you? Is that a proposal? Keep me waiting here. Hey, you get 
did quite the arm there, play. Can you know something? I'm really proud of you. You've been so strong. All the stuff you've been through. Okay, give me the ball. Hey, what's the matter? It'll make you mad. Hey. Hey, come here. You know that you can tell me anything, right? Hmm? Mommy's going to hate me. Maybe they're so cute at that age. Oh, yeah. Kyle said the whole thing's a lie. Says you coached him, told him what to say. Really? Yeah. Surprised that didn't happen a month ago. How long did you think it would take him to realize that he got his mommy in trouble? He says you made the whole thing up, Dee Dee. Oh. Mr. Skelly Bones, the bad church, and, all of it. Uh, and you believe that? Oh, what am I supposed to believe? Oh, I see. She got to you, didn't she? What did Sarah promise you? What are you saying? I'm saying you? stay away from me. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying get the hell out of my house. That's what I'm saying. Why don't I'm you saying. tell Josie what's Why going on? Why don't you on, just huh? worry about yourself? You don't yourself want to get her in trouble Sarah. too, do you? Right, you get to... out. Get the hell out. Good idea. Oh. Bye. I don't suppose you're going to tell me what that's all about. Sarah got to him. Chris? Now you're saying he's in on it, too? sweetheart, I have kept you so sheltered, you really don't even know the half of what this is all about. Mom, I know craziness when I hear it. Sweetheart, Sarah has ways of wrapping Chris around her little finger, and that's what she's done. Josie! 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 I guess it's no secret you were my favorite. You were my little mirror. If I had loved Sarah the way I love you, she would have turned out differently. But none of that matters but now there's anymore. Kyle, and we have to protect him. I'm so sorry. I love you, baby. Okay, uh, try it now. <laughs> Well, at least we know you're good at two things. Chris! Look, I'm not here to make any trouble, okay? Just, um, I just want to talk. Okay? Um, look, I, I just came from seeing Kyle. Um, uh, look, um... I know now that you were telling the truth, Sarah. Kyle told me it was Dee Dee that made him say all those bad things. <sighs> uh, I'm, I'm Jack. Uh, Chris. Yeah. <laughs> Hearsay from a five-year-old won't hold up in court. What do you mean? Kyle's my son, and I'm saying that Sarah can keep him. Yes, Dee Dee brought the suit. You can drop out, but her custody petition is still before the court. Plus, the abuse charges are still being investigated as a uh, criminal matter. No, no way. We've got Dee Dee on this. There's no way she can get away with I'm it. I'm not saying this isn't good news. I'm just saying that some corroboration would be nice. Now, wait a minute. I mean, wouldn't, wouldn't it have taken Sarah's mother a long time to make that tape? I mean, there's no way that Kyle could have got this right in the first try. Or the tenth. Do you still have the key to your mother's place? I'm not hearing this. Mrs. Cooper's counsel has said there's no chance for amicable resolution, and we agree. But we believe the situation has changed rather drastically. No, Kyle. Now, we're going to go over this one more time, okay? Now, when you went to the bad church, who took you there? Um, I don't know. Who was it? Is it Mr. Skillyworth? No. No, honey, remember, there was another name, right? You remember what the other name Mommy, was? Stop now. Dan. Mommy's friend Dan did. And how many people were there? Don't go outside. I will, but first we have to get this right. It seems provisionally that concerns about Kyle's welfare have been addressed. And I'm particularly heartened to hear that Miss Landers intends to marry a fine, upstanding young man, Mr. Taylor.
So I give this agreement my blessing with a stern warning to all parties that the court will keep an eye on any developments in this matter. Miss Landers, your son will be remanded to your custody this afternoon. Grandma did bad things because she loves you. She loves you so much that she can't even think straight. Now, I wouldn't call you lucky exactly, but you got a lot of people who love you. Did you know that? Sleep tight. I want my dino. Oh, a dino. You want to sleep with him? <laughs> well, get him under the covers. He's cold. I love you. Sleep tight. I'll see what's keeping her. Thank you. Really? Even more beautiful than at your last wedding. I don't know. Oh, we can drop that. The cap's on. Oh, I don't care if the cap is on, sweetheart. Leave it. Here we go. I thought we went through life's lessons last time. I know why you're doing this, Sarah. Because he's a great guy and he loves Kyle. But do you love him? <laughs> Listen to you. <laughs> I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Mom, it's somebody named Ellen. This is Davy. I'm Ellen from Project Shepherd. Been trying to reach me. You still there? Oh, uh, yes, I'm just a little nervous. That's understandable. Do you know anything about my case? Only generally. You still believe your grandson is in danger? Oh, yes, I know he is. And there's no one doing anything about it. Not the not the social worker or the police. And the courts threw it out. These things don't always get resolved in the courts. Yes, I know. That's why I called you. All right. Can you just keep holding on, okay? And I won't let go, I promise. Oh, oh look at there. He's coming straight towards us. Navigation, <laughs> that's the key, my lad. Hi. Hi. Is dinner ready? Oh, I haven't gotten a chance yet. Kyle done bubble bath all over the bathroom, and then let's get me on the phone for an hour. Ah, and... Okay, okay, I get it, I get it. So, guess what? I got a promotion. At the shop? Yeah, at the shop. It's their work, is it? They're going to make me manager of the whole place. You sure you really want to manage the whole place? Well, why wouldn't I? I, mean, I thought you'd be happy. It's 5000 more a year. Oh, yeah, I am. I just... I knew that you wanted to cut back on work so you'd have more time to spend on your portfolio. Yeah, well, I'll just have to manage my time better. Jack, we both know that with the managing position, they all have no time for anything else. Hey, 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 come on. It's not just the money. I mean, it's, uh, it's a lot of opportunity that they're offering me. Much greater chance of getting caught if you're together. 
It also means travel arrangements for two and a new identity for yourself. This is the only time we'll meet. This is a beeper number. Call when you're sure you're ready to go ahead with this. Okay. Sarah. Lisa, can you keep an eye on him? Oh, Sarah, there's really no need. Look, you know the rules. You're supposed to see him once a month on scheduled visitation days, per my discretion. And my discretion is that you never come here. This is my house, and there's no place for you here. Brought a present for the new baby. Keep it. What am I going to do with the Godzilla nightlight? Mom, I'm trying to live my life here. The court says that you get to see Kyle, and I have to go along with that. Why can't you just leave it at that? Sorry, Sarah, I really didn't mean to upset you. Come on for the baby. Goodbye, Mom. now, Josie. You'll have to take sides. Okay. All right. Don't get dizzy. Jack, watch them for a second. You okay there? Not too hot? What are you doing here? Gawking? Still trying to make up your mind? You know, you hurt me more than anybody. I mean, Mom can't help you if she's nuts. But you, you've got no excuse. Is she nuts? I don't know that. You know, Sarah, you never once told me anything. You let that lawyer do all the talking for you. You never once just said, I didn't do it. X on you. Woohoo! All right. Look how pretty you look. Good. Handsome. So how you doing? Well, you know, uh, I heard about Josie running off. Yeah, I don't understand that. I've been worried as I can be. You sure you're okay? I'll be all right. So I'll meet you at the tea at six. Okay. Goodbye, sweetie. I love you. Have fun, okay? Sure. All right. Bye, Mom. Yeah, we'll see you at the tea at six. We need okay. the rest of it now. What do you mean the rest of it? I already gave you a thousand. Oh, uh, and you're gonna need another five hundred. You're gonna need another five hundred? They told me it was a thousand. Oh, a thousand for the flight. You got the deluxe package. A few new social security cards and a driver's license for you. You can use the social security cards to go to the foods, get some food stamps, anything you want. No, I'm not gonna need food stamps. 
Come on, Tweety. Take care. These are the Browns. Hello. I admire your courage, Mrs. Cooper. Well, thank you very much. It will be an honor to help you out in any way we can. Lord of the catacombs of ancient Rome, in the attics of Germany, in the swamps and back roads of the Old South. Wherever the innocent have been made fugitive, your grace has gone with them. Lord, we ask your blessings for these weary travelers who have a long journey still ahead of them. Amen. Amen. How long are we going to stay here? Oh, I don't know. We'll probably move on tomorrow. I wonder what Sarah's thinking. I'll look through the window. It looks pretty empty in there. Okay, Mr. Cooper, what's going on? We still haven't found out that much, but Dee Dee hasn't been in her place all day, and it looks like she's taking some stuff with her. How's she doing? Not good. Sarah. I'm not leaving. Look, it's pretty obvious that... Just get the baby from Alyssa's and go home, and I'll meet you there later. I just need to stay here a little while. She says she wants to stay here for a while. I wish I could just get her home. What I've been able to determine is that your mother's getting some pretty sophisticated and organized help in this thing. Frankly, Mrs. Taylor, it's out of my league. If I spend any more time on this, I feel I'm only wasting your money. Well, thank you for your honesty. You said you were going to Kyle's face in the paper. I tried. No, are you lying? <laughs> Hold on. Hello? Yeah, I'm on with him now. Okay. Did you get the posters printed up? Yep. Okay, great. Chad? Okay, I'll tell you what I want. I want Kyle's face on as many public surfaces as possible. You've got it. Then. All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Monster driving you nuts. You want to switch? Hello, Miss Taylor. Jim Peori. Mr. Peori. Remember me? Yeah, of course I knew you. You're, you're from the Sun Herald. Uh huh. Okay, erase that. <laughs> oh, you are so slow. <laughs> hey, get your hands out of my French fries. You have your own fries. Okay, I've got the late shift tonight. You have him in bed by 10, okay? Mom's mm. gonna be mad I ate so many french fries. Huh? I just want to get this out. You know, you really should think about easing up now and again, you know? And do what? Well, this is a crazy idea, Sarah, but you do have another child. You might want to think about spending some time with him. Have you been talking to Alyssa? Because I heard that she thinks that I'm neglecting him. I mean, if that's what you guys think, I wish no, you could just No, I have not been say talking it. to Alyssa. I mean, what if I said that I didn't think that you cared enough about getting Kyle back just because he's not your real son? How can you say that to me? I'm sorry. Look, what do you want from me? I said I am sorry. What I want. The only thing that I want is for you to be happy again. I'm sorry. You look at me that way. Those eyes and you are 
are so beautifully dense. Don't you understand that Kyle is the only thing that I ever cared about? And he is not here. Don't you realize that anything that we have together doesn't mean anything without Kyle? That if it weren't for me trying to keep Kyle, that we'd both be someplace else? And we wouldn't have the baby on this house? You wouldn't be working 70 hours a week at a job you hate? Well, wait a minute, I don't regret anything. Okay, I, I never regretted anything. I love you. I believe you do. But I can't keep playing along. And I won't start pretending again until I get my son back. You know, nobody should ever have to hear what you just said to me. Even if it's true. Jack. Jack, Jack, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please, I'm sorry. Please. I know, I know I haven't been the wife to you. I should be. Please. 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hello? Miss Taylor? Uh huh? I'm from on Target. Um, we received a letter. It's on Target, the television show. What we do is we do recreations. So we need to come to your house in order to film this. Okay. I'm on the Oh, excuse me. It's Clark. Don't you think that it might be better to get a real actress to play my part? No, the results are usually better if the real people play themselves. It's more Watch you identifiable for the audience. People want to root for you. Why aren't we shooting? So we're ready for you, Mrs. Taylor. Here's your co-star. Have him to the T by six. Cut! Mrs. Taylor, you're not really... You don't seem to be completely here. People watching this are going to expect to see some emotion. Let's move on. Everybody inside. Come on. What is it? I just got a call. Sarah's going to be on TV. We're all going to be on TV. You mean they're going to see all our faces? TV? Just get your things together, sweetheart. Where, where are we going to go? Olympia. There's a place for us already. What's an Olympia? I have no idea. We'll find out, won't we? looking for two grown-ups and a small boy. So you go ahead with Kyle. I'll stay behind, sell the car, and then Why I'll meet you. Why do we always have to move? I don't want to move anymore. Get your room, get your things together. You two, Jesse, go. The ultimate betrayal. Your son is kidnapped by your own mother. That nightmare is this woman's reality. The search for her lost child, an endless journey on a trail of tears. On September 25th, Sarah Taylor dropped off her son Kyle at the home of her mother, Dee Dee Cooper, for a court-sanctioned sure visit. Though Sarah's mother insisted that everything was all right, there was something about Dee Dee's composure that concerned Sarah. As she waved to her son, she couldn't have guessed that this would be the last time she would see her six-year-old boy. If you have any information which could lead to the discovery of Kyle's whereabouts... Sit up here. Okay. Two tickets to Olympia, please. Went to the bathroom. Gotta go some more. Kyle, there'll be another stop in a minute, okay? I thought I was Mikey. Just be quiet and sit still. Sarah Taylor? Yeah? I'm Special Agent Soul. This is Special Agent Harris. Come in. Your mother was in Coos Bay, Oregon until two weeks ago. We just missed them. This is the apartment they were living in. Well, at least it's clean. Well, there's no evidence Kyle's been mistreated or improperly cared for in any way. 
Now, you said you just missed her. How'd she know to split? Well, that's what we're here to talk to you about. We believe she was tipped off. Mrs. Taylor, we believe there's a kind of underground network assisting your mother. Yeah, private investigators told me that. But we believe these people, whoever they are, have eyes and ears here in Chester. I'm being spied on. Now, that's her. The kid's with her uh, over there. Just like on TV. There's also a Caucasian 18-year-old female. Could be Josie Cooper. We are live in Seattle, where there has been a development in the case of a missing six-year-old boy, a boy that authorities believe was kidnapped by his own grandmother. Now, it appears we may have a solution to this as-yet-unsolved mystery. A few hours ago... The one we thought was Josie turned out to be a housekeeper, and they changed the boy's appearance considerably, and he's fine, he's the social service. Excuse me, can... We brought her in here. Do you have... Hey, I'll you there. It's not her. Yes, I, I know. I know I am fanatical. But tell me, what is wrong with being fanatical about your own child, your own flesh and blood? Have there been many other leads that have turned out to be false alarms? Hello? Mrs. Taylor? Mrs. Taylor? Oh my God, your mommy's here. It's okay. It's okay, my baby. I love you so much. Mommy loves you so much. Your mommy's got you. What's wrong? I watch you sometimes when you're putting the baby to bed. And I stand out in the hallway and I catch myself thinking what a beautiful family they are. And then I realize that that's my family. But I still can't help from thinking that I wish I was a part of it. I want so bad to be a part of that family that I see. Okay. You're in. So damn stupid. <laughs> I've cheated us. I've cheated us both. I find that shirt inappropriate. I have a feeling most of the other customers do. Tips. No reason to stay. 
refrigerator's broken, I save what I could. It's in the sink. Do you have a clean towel anywhere? He was talking about Sarah again. So, what do you say? Nothing. Just what you think about this or that. About what he's going to do when he gets home. Just came from your friends in Denver. How could they have done this? I've asked myself a thousand times. All I know is my mother always wanted a boy. Stupid. Just stupid. Take a look at this. You ever see Sarah look like that a day in her life? Stop having your friends send you these papers if they upset you so much. Are you stupid too now? It says they. That means you and me. Could you try not to forget that? I'm not. Good. Good, 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 I'm thinking. I'm thinking maybe we need to write Sarah a letter. Remind her that we're alive. Let her know there's somebody out here who knows the truth. No. No? I don't have anything to say to Sarah right now. I'm not going to write her a letter. Then you'll take dictation. All right? All right? Because, um, you know what I expect? Come here. I expect a little support from you, all right? a roof over your head, I can close on your back and throw it in your mouth and I expect a little support. We're going to do this together. Who's yelling? Let's go back to your room, sweetheart. Now, yeah, it's very, very important that we do this together, all right? I saw you on TV. You looked wonderful. I always told you when you dress up nicely, you can be quite lovely. It's okay. I mean, you're really quite the little actress. I realize, of course, with television, the truth doesn't matter. It's whatever sells. But we both know the truth. And that's what's important. The postmark on the envelope is probably a dead end. We've already established someone forwards Stevie's mail for her. Well, you said you had something on the phone. Yeah, we checked your mother's old phone records. Now, one number that occurs frequently is an organization named Project Shepherd. You heard of it? No. Well, it's a nonprofit organization ostensibly set up to provide information and counseling about child abuse. Ostensibly? You think they're the ones who are helping my mother? We think there's a good chance that they put your mother in touch with the people who are helping her now. They also likely remain a contact point. Are you sure you're okay? Do we have to watch this tape again? Four o'clock, Power Rangers. Kyle, I can't Kyle, see the television. go play with one of your puzzles. Uh, oh, God, would you look at that body language. Please, there a person on Earth who doesn't know she's a liar. I want to go home. I want to go home. I want to go home. Kyle, go home. what are you doing? I want to go home. I want to go home. What are you doing? I want to go home. Hi, sweetie. All right. It's okay, baby. Are you all right? Look at me. Look at me, sweetie. Look at me. Oh, sweetheart. It's too much staying in here all the time, isn't it? You know what? I have Thursday off. Would you like to go to the park on Thursday? You and me? Oh, sweetie. Hey, Sarah. Sure. Did you make this call to Denver? No, I did not make that call. It's okay, baby. It's okay. Watch him. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Hello, Project Shepherd. Somebody's been calling Project Shepherd from this house. Alyssa? Alyssa! Sarah? Just tell me why. Why did you do it? Darling, what's Stay going on? Stay out of this, Dad. So just tell me, Alyssa, I mean, did you really believe that you were doing a good deed or were you just doing it out of spite? Because I know you never looked at me the same way after Dee Dee started in with I all I don't know this. what you're talking about. That you're in on it? That you're the one who tells Dee Dee every time that we get close? Sarah, that's not Alyssa true. Dad, right now. let her Please tell me. Let her tell me what it is. It's bull. Sarah, Sarah, I know you're over there. Pick up the phone. Pick up the phone. It wasn't Elisa. 
She's here. Jimmy. Yeah? Jimmy, I know who it was. Let me talk to her. He says he knows who was making those calls. So I saw all the calls were made to the baby's birthday, and then I remembered your great aunt stayed there that night. She as much as confessed when I called her. Why did you call the police before we got she there? She called them. Now, Mrs. Cooper, you've admitted to making these calls. I made phone calls to my niece. And gave her information that helped her elude the law. Now, that's a very serious crime, Miss Cooper. She's family. Yeah. He brought to her why did you bring her here? Miss Cooper, tell us where Dee Dee is. I don't know where she is. Well, we think you do. I don't know anything. Miss Cooper, we know you know Stop where she it. is. Just leave her alone. I don't know anything. I know, I know, I know. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Turn to buy coffee. Yeah. 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 Giving us evil eye. You guys got something in mind? You take one step closer, and I'll kill you. Kill you. Come on, Leon. It isn't worth it. Leave him alone. Come on. Oh. <laughs> That's a big green yeah. worm, buddy. Huh? Uh. See, <laughs> Goes around into a circle. Stay with me. This is a message for Sarah Taylor. It's Andrew Miller. I'm the guest coordinator for the John Carl Trover Show. We're going to do a show next week. In case you have mistaken. This is Sarah. Ah, oh, Sarah. As I was saying, we're doing a show on mistaken identity, and we're going to feature Julia McAdams. You mean the woman they thought was my mother? That's right. I'm wondering if you'd be interested in coming in and filling in the background story. Would I get to show Kyle's picture? So this started about two years ago. My mother tried to have me declared an incompetent mother. By saying Why do people that watch this show, Mom? A satanic cult. What are we going to do? Look, everything is fine. There's just a few things that I have to do. Thing. You don't have to worry about that. All I need to know from you is that you love Kyle as much as I do, and you do whatever it takes to make him safe. Love you. Dee, Dee just listen to me. I don't know what you did or who you did it to, but if I was you, I wouldn't come into work. There's a guy here asking about you. He looks serious. Thank you, Sandy.
answer any question you want to ask me, but I've got to tell you, this is all ridiculously beside the point. It's already done. What's already done? Kyle is already with the people who will take him to safety. You mean Project Shepard? They're going to give him a new identity and a whole new life. A year from now, he won't remember any of this. Your mother has indicated that Josie is about to, or maybe already has, turned over Kyle to their underground connections. Well, so, if we don't find him now, we could lose him forever. Sarah! Well, you look like you're taking a lot better care of yourself. Please. You know, the only selfish hope I still have left is that someday you'll understand that I meant no malice toward you. I know. I feel no spite for you. I know. But none of that matters anymore, Malcolm. I know you hate me. I don't. Oh, yes. Yes, you do. It's only natural. You'd have to hate my guts right now. Mama, oh, please. Oh, please. Tell me where Kyle is. Where did Josie take him? Come. Please. Don't do this to yourself. Please. Please tell me where he is. He's in good hands. In very good hands. He's happy, he's loved, he's safe, he's protected. Mama, please. Sarah Dunn. He is my little boy. Nobody could love him like I love him. Please. Look at me, Mom. Please. I am begging you. Don't do that. Isn't that what you always wanted? I'm on my knees begging for your forgiveness. You were right. I was wrong about everything. I picked out lousy birthday presents. Up is down. Day is night. Whatever you want to be true is true. Just give me my son back. Tell me where he is. Sarah. Say goodbye. <laughs> Josie, she came back to the motel, but Kyle wasn't with her. I just missed the stater, all right? Josie! Are you okay? Josie, just tell me where Kyle is. That's all I want to know. I'm so sorry. I know, I know. I just want to know where Kyle is. Please. He's wearing an overcoat and he's sort of bald. Really narrows it down, huh? Okay, okay, try to take it easy. Hi, I need to complete this to depart. Hey, Josie, do you see him? No. Hey, well, they've got to be here.
Special Agent Soul. You're under arrest for kidnapping. That's your mommy. I know. <laughs> oh. oh, I've been looking for you, Miss. I have been looking for you. Oh.